How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Miguel Lopez Show. This episode is sponsored by I Buy Loads. If you go to the website, link in the description, and buy any military-inspired artwork, all the money, all the profit will be donated to a non-profit organization that supports military veterans and the military community. Without further ado, let's get back into it. Let's get into this video. I just cannot believe. I cannot believe what happened this Saturday. They try to take my boy out. They try to take Trompito out. This is incredible that something like this happens in America. And before we get into the video, I just want to send my prayers to the family of the individuals that were affected, the firefighter who succumbed to injuries from the sniper that intended to take out President Trump and to his family. He definitely, definitely, absolutely made the ultimate sacrifice protecting his family. So our thoughts and prayers go out to the family. I cannot put in words how terrible it must be to lose your loved one when they went to support their political party, to support someone they admire and want to see in the White House. This is something that should not happen in America. And I condemn any type of violence. We should not have this happen. So real quick, let's look at the video. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. I'm stopping the video because you all have seen by now everything that happened and again I'm speechless that something like this happened in America to our president and you know it leaves you wondering how was that spot not secure how is there a building we are direct line of sight to the president. What were the Secret Service, the counter sniper group doing? Why was there not a patrol officer or just a car with a siren on to deter potential threat? There's so many questions, so many questions on what happened, but we all can agree that President Trump has an angel protecting him. He's got an angel protecting him. Like he was just millimeters from probably not being here with us. And had this assassination attempt been successful, I cannot even begin to imagine what would be right now, what would have happened to America. This, oh man. I just, you know, we are uh, close to a boiling point, let's say 211 degrees. If that would have happened, we definitely would have reached a boiling point. And I don't think we have seen anything as bad as it could have been had President Trump being assassinated. So with that being said, we got to stop and think. Let's not resource to violence. Let's not go out there and commit any atrocities to try to raise our voice. You know, the best way that we can raise our voice right now, our voices, is when the, we go to the polls and vote for who we think is not just going to be the best for America and best for us, but the person that is right for the job the person that will bring us back to what America is. 
I don't care what your political views are, but all I ask is that whoever you decide to vote for, please be informed. Do your due diligence. Don't base it just on mainstream media that, for example, been throwing this narrative for the past eight years, condemning a political person and trying left and right to discredit his personality, to discredit what he has done and how much America means to him, comparing him to Hitler, like, you have got to be kidding me. And I'm not saying the Democrats are responsible for what happened, but what you say, your words have a lot of impact. And just a few days before this rally in Pennsylvania happened, we all can see the administration saying that blah, 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 it's time to pull Trump in the bull's eye. So, you know, some people are easily influenced and they don't think rationally. They just fanatics that, let's say, hear what they want to hear and then try to take actions. And that's not what we stand for here. That's not what America is. So I do hope that we don't resort to violence. And like I said, the best way to get revenge is going to the poll and voting for the person that you think is right and will do the right job for America, that will bring an economy to what it used to be, that we will be able to live a life that we don't have to work seven jobs, making over $100,000 and not even be able to afford groceries. So you think about that, and then when you put those in perspective, forget what party you support. Think about how is your life now and how was your life four years ago, and then make your decision. Make the right decision for America. Remember, united we stand, divided we fall. God bless America.